I'm Coyote Peterson. Now a lot of you have written in asking me to do an episode on the Brown and Old. And for those of you that have, I've got some really great news. I'm on location in Florida, and they're absolutely everywhere. Let's go see how many we can catch. This is the best part about staying in Florida, is all the anoles. It's always nice to be able to walk right outside your hotel room and catch little lizards. Look at that, right on a white fence. Clearly he's not working on his camouflage game. Now this is the perfect time of day to look for them. You got the sun just at about three o'clock in the sky and they are soaking up the last rays of the day. You can get him a slid off the shot. Got him. Nice. Woo! What a great catch. Oh, and look at that. There it is, the invasive brown anole. Now let me show you something really cool about these anoles. This isn't gonna hurt them anyway whatsoever. Look at that. You see that flap of skin right there? That is called the dewlap. And these male anoles use this to attract the females during breeding season. And as you can see right now, he's not interested in breeding, but he is interested, ooh, in biting. But these little tiny teeth, can't even break my skin. Sorry buddy, that's not a bite that's uh, gonna make our bite highlight reel. Look at that, he doesn't wanna let go. Got my finger back, please? Please? Oh yeah, he's got me pretty good. Just, there you go. Okay, I know, you didn't like that. Look at that, look how aggressive they can be though. Now, I love these little lizards despite the fact that they're invasive here in Florida because they're so much fun to catch. Now, if you're out there on vacation and you want to know something that is safe to go after, it is the anole. However, I have to warn you, their tails do pop off really easily. So never grab these lizards by their tails because they'll pop them off and then they'll be more susceptible to predators. But there you have it, the brown anole right here behind our hotel. How cool is that? I think we could probably catch one that's a little bit bigger though, so let's let him go and see if we can get one that tops this. Got a snake, right here, right hmm? here. What? It's a rat snake, no, it's a black racer. Holy cow, and they're super fast. Right there, you see him? Yeah, he's slithering. Oh, and I'm on this side of the logs, buddy. I'm gonna get you. Watch how fast they dart as soon as you decide to take off. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Woo! Oh, trying to catch a knolls, if we come across, ah, ooh, he bit me. Good thing is he's not venomous. Look at that, rattling the tail, just like a rattlesnake. That's a warning sign where he tries to make me think that he's venomous, even though he's not. Ooh, boy, he got my hand good. Now, this is one of the top predators that's out here eating the brown anole, and they are so unbelievably quick. Oh, ooh, mmm, again. Geez, maybe I should just hold him kind of out like this so I don't take any more bites. Look at how beautiful that snake is. Now, this is another species that does incredibly well in a residential area like this because there's so many things for them to feast on. Obviously, the brown anoles are probably a pretty easy snack, but then you've got all sorts of rodents, and they will even go after baby birds if they're a nest. These snakes can climb. Look at how beautiful that snake is. Incredibly smooth, and that's what allows them to move through the environment so quickly. Oh boy, he's looking right in my face and he's saying, just get a little bit closer. I gave you a bite on both hands and I would love to bite your nose. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, and he is musking right now, so that's another defensive tactic. Let me poop, scare you away with that smell. I'm sure it tastes pretty bad, but holy mackerel, that is the black racer. Kinda unexpected, huh? Totally unexpected. I don't know uh, if we're gonna be able to top this. I was hoping for a bigger knoll. You never know what you're gonna find. Ooh. Whoa! Did he bite you in the face? He bit my hat! You never know what you're gonna find. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> and knock me, oh, ow, hey, stop biting my thumb! Knock me right on my butt. Right here behind our hotel, so much wildlife. Never know what you're gonna find whenever you're out there on vacation. I'm Kyrie Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let him go back off into the woods so he can hunt for anoles. Woo, that was a close one. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I got a little too close to the Gila Monster. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Oh, yeah, he got the whole top of my thumb.